Hi guys, this is Chris at the Boys and Girls Club once again. So I'm not in my normal spot, I'm not downstairs in my little corner, my mat corner, but today I want to show you something. So a rotary group in town made us one of these nice little cubbies right here, and the cool thing about this is there's math that is involved with making these. So if you look, it's got the box shape. How is it used math, you ask? Well, I got this tool, it's called a nice little protractor. So if you look, we got all these numbers all on there, and each one of those represents an angle. When we get a box shape like this, it takes four right angles. What a right angle is, is 90 degrees. So how you use a protractor is, you put it right on this line, the angles go right in the center, where you can see right there, and then you can measure it. So I can put that right onto here, I got it level right there, and it goes right on that 90. It's going to be hard for you to see, but it's going to be right there on that 90 right there. So there you go. There's a cool way that math applies to this whole little uh, world that we live in. So another example for you guys. Bye. All right, guys, so here's a little follow-up. So we got a piece of paper right here. We know it's a rectangle. It's got four right angles. So once again, I'm going to show up a little closer view on how to use the protractor. Once again, we got it right here. We got all the numbers, core lining. Now we got to make it level with this line here, and it has to match up with this 90. So to measure this bottom right angle right here, we're going to put it down. And then we're going to make sure it's nice and level on that line, just like so. And if you look at the very top, it lines up right to that 90 degree mark. So that's how you can use a protractor in the future to start measuring some things. If you don't have a protractor, that's okay. But do what you can. Post down below some cool ways you can apply math in areas that you can see more right angles. All right? Bye.